before I start, you know, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It means a lot, and it allows me to continue making these film breakdowns, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. In all the Antonio Brown excitement and the fact that the Patriots wide receiving core now looks like this, people pretty much forgot Philip Dorsett exists. And, I mean, I personally didn't. You can check out my last video on Antonio Brown for proof where I talk a little bit about Philip Dorsett's role in our offense. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, watching Philip Dorsett torch the Steelers was straight up amazing. And not just because the Steelers deserve it, because, I mean, they do, but because Dorsett also seems to have settled into the role we thought Brandon Cooks would settle into back in 2017. Brandon Cooks was great, but he almost never scored off those deep seam and post touchdowns the way Philip Dorsett did yesterday. And actually, if you include the playoffs, out of Brady's last five thrown touchdown passes, four of them have actually gone to Philip Dorsett. So the fact that our wide receiver four has that level of chemistry with our starting quarterback, that's just unreal. That usually doesn't happen in the NFL. So let's start off with the first tutty, and boy is this one a pure ripper. This is a pure Brady play right here, and the play starts off with a gunwing trio weak formation. And there's a few things you can learn right away just by reading the field here. First of all, you see one defensive back aligned to every single receiver, including presumably James White, indicating some level of man coverage underneath here. There's also two high safeties as well, which means the coverage will most likely either be a straight up cover two man or a cover one robber. And the idea behind a cover one robber is that one safety will rotate underneath to stop any inside moving routes like a dig or a slant, and one safety will rotate up top to stop any deeper routes. So here's what's interesting. The gunwing trio weak formation actually isolates Josh Gordon in a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the near side of the field against one guy, one cornerback. And in that formation and scenario, generally the Patriots love to send Josh Gordon on a slant, and they love to just let him box out his one defender with his bigger body and get a quick 8-10 to 10 yards and move the sticks or put him into second and manageable. So knowing this, there's a good chance the Steelers are probably going to rotate down into a one robber with the left safety rotating down. So Brady, being Brady at this point, has pretty much figured this out, and he's like, the Steelers are going to be in one robber. There's just one more minor detail to take care of. So at the beginning of the play, you can actually hear Tom Brady yell out the mic identification, 26. Shoot, 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 26. Four, meaning the line protection will direct towards 26 in case of a blitz or a crash after the play action, since 26 is the man on man on James White, and since James White's going to drop back into protection, if 26 decides to blitz, they have that all taken care of. So with all that set, let's take a look at the route concepts really quickly. Josh Gordon is actually running the dig route, while Philip Dorsett's job is to get inside his man on a seam route, and Edelman's job is to run a medium depth speed out route. Brady snaps the ball and he holds the play action while staring like crazy at Josh Gordon running his dig route, and he gets both safeties to start to strafe towards that near side of the field. And using his eyes to hold the safety, all of a sudden Brady flips his hips and head towards Dorsett, who by this time has actually beaten his man deep and has gotten inside leverage and he fires an absolute laser right into that little crease, into the perfect spot. And the safety can't get there fast enough because he's been held by Brady's eyes for most of the play. This whole play is born straight out of the film room, and requires not only the QB, but multiple receivers to be on the same page for it to work. And you just love to see that kind of chemistry so early in the season. Dorsett's second touchdown was a more massive throw and catch, but honestly, it wasn't as impressive to me because it was more so due to a defensive breakdown as opposed to a good offensive play like the first play. This play starts off with Gordon as an X receiver, Dorsett as a Y receiver towards the far side of the field. Edelman starts off towards the far side and eventually motions over to the near side. And you can see a shifting defender kind of a line over Edelman, indicating some kind of man-to-man -man coverage once again. The two high safeties are so far apart, and it kind of makes it seem like it's going to be a cover two man, which actually, given the scenario that is third and ten, makes sense because cover two man is generally a defense aimed at allowing a short completion down the middle of the field as opposed to allowing chunk yardage down the sideline, allowing for a gang tackle, presumably short of the sticks. So here's the thing, though. The defender on door set, for some reason, thinks they're in a zone or something like that. So eventually, right after the snap, he hauls ass back to the vert hook region in case Josh Gordon tries to slant. But because of that, though, Philip Dorsett, who's the fastest guy on the Patriots, gets a free release down the middle of the field on a post route without having a man even cover him. And the safety kind of passes him up because I guess he probably figures Dorsett has a man on him or something. The safety's supposed to carry him deep because that's the whole concept of cover two. But the idea is this whole mismatch leads to a giant bust in coverage and therefore a massive touchdown. I didn't find this play super impressive. I found it hype, but the reason it wasn't impressive because it was just a huge bust. The one awesome thing I will say, though, about this throw is the distance that Brady puts on this. Because Brady throws his ball from the Patriots 33 all the way down to the Steelers 15, meaning that 42-year-old arm lets go of a 52-air-yard beauty, 
perfectly in stride for Dorset. Dorset doesn't have to change his angle or speed at all because the ball just drops right into his bread basket. Not bad, Max Kellerman. Not bad. And, you know, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed, please don't be shy to comment and subscribe. As usual, go Pats.